Hey, this is Donnie Smith back with another DIY auto body and paint Q&A. Today the question is, can I put urethane paints on top of lacquer? And this is a question I've been asked often and I have my opinion. I did some googling, did some research and I called the manufacturers and I'm going to let you know the results I got. First I'd like to mention our sponsor, CollisionBlast.com. They're your source for collision repair training and news. You can go there, subscribe and receive uh, updates absolutely free. So the question, can I put your thing, like a base coat clear coat system on top of lacquer? Let's say you have a, a car that you're restoring and it's OEM lacquer finish. Do I have to strip it to metal or you know, can I put some type of silver and paint on top of that? Okay, here's my opinion on that. On well, my opinion, I always uh, thought that you could just uh, put like an epoxy on top of it. You know, of course, sand it down, prep it like you normally would and epoxy it as a sealer to seal that lacquer off and then put your base coat clear coat. In fact, I've done that. And also what, what I've done, this is uh, kind of chasing a little bit of a rabbit, but talking about lacquers, uh, I've used a lot of lacquer primers. You know, when they first come out with this base coat clear coat system, it's kind of when we transitioned from the acrylic enamel days and when the base coat clear coat started first coming out. Um, I started using the base coat clear coat system, which was a urethane system, but still was using the lacquer uh, primers. So we'd put lacquer primer, you know, do our body work, sand and block it with lacquer primer, and then we would seal it. You do want to seal lacquer. You don't want to skip that part. Um, and then after we put our primer sealer, uh, we would put our paint, you know, our base coat and our clear coat. Never really had a problem. And when I was doing my research, I find there's still a lot of people doing that. You know, I haven't used that system in a while. But there are still a lot of people using lacquer primers and putting base coat clear coats and saying they're having absolutely no problems. Now, where you will get in a problem with lacquer primers is because that thinner is really a hot thinner, especially if you're, you're, if you're recoating something or you're doing something that's uh, on fresh paint. That lacquer thinner will bite in and start lifting, you know, the, the, the fresher paint. So, you know, you have to, what we used to do is just come, you know, some real dry coats so that uh, it doesn't get real wet on there. Then once you uh, build up a couple of dry coats, then you can put your thicker coats on. But one of the things with lacquer, you know, even reading about it, you know, when I Google it, you know, it does shrink. You know, it has a lot of uh, thinners in it. It has more thinner than, you know, the 2K primers. Uh, you know, in fact, about 75 to 100% of it's thinner. So what that means is uh, at least half of what you put on the car is going to evaporate. So, you know, that's going to shrink. But there's still a lot of guys claiming that they do that out there and they're having good results. And, uh, you know, that's a, and I know a lot of shops back when this first transition that did the same thing. So there's some out there, you know, that's, that claims you cannot do that. But, you know, we did it. Whether it's right or not, you know, I don't know. So anyway, uh, you got my opinion. You uh, heard the opinion, you can Google it and probably see all kinds of stuff out there. So, but that still kind of left me unknown, well, what is the truth? So I called one of the manufacturers and this is what they said. I, you know, I asked them, if I've got a OEM finish, you know, it's in lacquer, you know, just original lacquer paint job, do I have to strip that or is there some type of sealer that I can put on there and then put my base coat clear coat? And this is what they said. They, was that they said, of course, the safest method, safest method is going to be to strip it. But if you don't want to do that, you can put epoxy and then base coat clear coat. So they said that you could do that, but it would be safer to go ahead and strip it, you know, and start over with the bare metal. So there you go. Uh, you can do it. You know, whether it's the safest method or not, I don't know. Uh, Maybe the safest method to go ahead and strip it. But according to the manufacturer, you know, uh, may not be necessary. And according to what I found out there, there's a lot of people doing it. But there's also a lot of people uh, out there claiming that you know that should you know that's the wrong way. You should you should strip the lacquer completely to bare steel. So uh, there you have it. There's no absolute answer on that one. Me, you know, I probably wouldn't have no problem if the paint's in good shape. You know, if the lacquer paint's in really good shape. You know, I wouldn't have no problem sanding it down, prepping and then uh, putting a, a, an epoxy on top of that and putting my base coat clear coat. You know, but that's just my opinion. There's a lot of opinions out there. Uh, that's, uh, that's, the, that's the answer that I have for you. 
Anyway, I hope this helps answer the question that I had on that. Uh, and if you have any other questions, be sure and go down below. And also, if you have some extra information, I'll call one manufacturer. If you're a manufacturer out there and, and you would like to add to that, or you know you have different uh, information or different answers than I provided, please go down below, leave us a comment, and uh, we'd like to hear from the different companies. So anyway, that wraps up this uh, Q&A. We'll talk to you next time.